This is Plant-Based Briefing. Is honey vegan? Everything you need to know about why bees make honey. Part 1 by Mark Hawthorne at vegnews.com. And I'm Marian Erickson. This is the Plant-Based Podcast where I curate, get permission, and narrate a variety of articles on plant-based and vegan living in about 10 minutes or less every weekday. Today's article is a bit longer than that, so it's a two-parter. I'm reading part one today, and then part two will be tomorrow. I'm so happy to have permission to share Veg News' content. So now let's get to today's plant-based briefing. Is Honey Vegan? Everything You Need to Know About Why Bees Make Honey, Part 1, by Mark Hawthorne at VegNews.com. Is Honey Vegan? It tends to be a sticky subject. Here's what you need to know about why bees make honey and whether or not it's ethical to eat. Few topics about the vegan diet seem to be as sticky as the debate over whether or not honey is vegan. On one side are the ethics. Honey is an animal product and therefore by definition not vegan. But some people following a plant-based diet have no objection to consuming honey, maybe because they don't consider bees animals. If they knew, however, that a worker bee will produce just one-twelfth of a teaspoon of honey in her entire one-month lifetime, and that the honey is food for her colony, perhaps they would reconsider. What is honey? Honey is a thick, sweet, gold, or amber-colored liquid made by female honeybees. The role of the males is to mate with the queen. They fly far from their hive to collect nectar, the sugary juice in the center of flowering plants, and store it in the first chamber of their stomachs. When they have a full load, they fly back to the hive and regurgitate the nectar, which is passed from one worker bee to another through their mouths to reduce the nectar's water level. Once the water content drops from its normal 70 to 80 percent down to 18 percent, bacteria and mold cannot grow and the nectar is transformed into honey. The bees then store the honey in hexagon-shaped honeycomb cells made of wax, Honeybees produce honey to feed their offspring and stockpile it for the winter months when flowers are not in bloom. Honeybee Populations There are about 20,000 species of bees worldwide, and an estimated 4,000 of which are native to the United States. Bees are vital to agriculture, pollinating approximately 80% of our flowering plants, including about 75% of the fruits, vegetables, and nuts grown in the U.S., A major problem that began afflicting North American honeybees in 2006 is colony collapse disorder, or CCD, in which adult bees abandon hives almost at the same time and eventually die. The phenomenon had been occurring in Europe as early as 1998. Many studies, such as these linked here, have linked pesticides to CCD, but scientists have yet to pinpoint exactly what causes it. Among the theories are invasive mites, poor nutrition, and the stress bees suffer from being transported to multiple locations to provide pollination services. With some 2.8 million honeybee hives in the U.S., bee farmers worked to improve hive conditions, and some reports suggest that CCD has decreased, while others say that colonies are still being lost at a high rate. One high-tech solution to CCD is artificial intelligence, developed by a startup called BeeWise, Bee Home is an autonomous solar-powered hive that allows beekeepers to watch and care for bees. The digital hive monitors the bees 24-7, and its AI technology identifies their needs in real time. Bee Home comes complete with a beekeeping robot that acts as both medic and guardian to complement the natural intelligence of bees. But other bee populations are suffering too, and humanity is largely responsible. In North America, it isn't colony collapse or bee mites or pesticides, that are the biggest threat to many of the 4,000 native bee species, it's the ubiquitous honeybee, Daniel Rubinoff, professor and entomology chair at the University of Hawaii, says. Tremendously adaptable, honeybees can thrive in a wide variety of environments, he says, and can harvest nectar from practically any plant that blooms. Wild bees, on the other hand, are much more particular. They are wonderful pollinators, but each native bee species collects pollen from a narrow set of plants. Outcompeted by the hordes of honeybees pouring from hives all across the country, native bees, with their solitary lifestyles and picky eating habits, have been disappearing for decades. Over 20 years of data now indicate that honeybees deliver a range of negative impacts, including direct competition with more effective native pollinators, not just other bees, and indirect effects like pollinating invasive weeds and facilitating their spread. Is honey vegan? In determining whether it's ethical for humans to consume honey, it's important to understand how the industry operates and what it does to bees. The commercial honey industry is like the dairy industry in some significant ways. Humans have been exploiting both cows and honeybees for 9,000 years. Like cows, honeybees are not native to North America and were imported to what is now the United States from Europe hundreds of years ago to work as agricultural animals. 
With the advent of modern agriculture after World War I, beekeepers began expanding their farms into much larger businesses. Moreover, honeybees are artificially inseminated just like cows are, and in the same way that cows and calves are considered expendable by dairy farmers, bees are routinely killed before winter because it's cheaper than feeding them. Finally, humans profit from the animals in both industries by stealing their food and substituting it with an inferior replacement. In the case of bees, it's refined sugar or high-fructose corn syrup. Artificial feeds are insufficient for the bees' needs and can have devastating consequences, as they can harm their immune system and cause genetic mutations that lower their natural defenses against pesticides. And because, unlike honey, high-fructose corn syrup does not contain the protective enzyme a bee's body needs to help fight off the toxins found in pesticides, feeding honeybee substitutes has been linked to CCD. Another consideration is that because of honey's healing properties, it is sometimes tested on animals, including rabbits, dogs, and rats, all of whom are inflicted with painful injuries before honey is applied to their wounds. One expert on bee honey is Darko Mandich, who worked in bee honey production for eight years at a large European food company before realizing it was responsible for killing bees. Honey is not vegan, he tells Veg News. I am not proud of things I did to the bees in my former roles, but I am happy that as an industry insider, I know how to change this outdated industry. Mandich is the co-founder of Melbio, a San Francisco-based startup that is making real honey without bees. See the alternative section below. You just listened to Is Honey Vegan? Everything You Need to Know About Why Bees Make Honey, Part 1 by Mark Hawthorne at VegNews.com. And I'm your host, Marian Erickson. Tune in tomorrow for the second half of this article, where you'll learn about the ethics of honey and whether any honey can be ethical, as well as some of the many alternatives to honey that are out there today. So please share this episode with anyone who might benefit, and thanks for listening.